I hope you're enjoying enjoying that tune right there. That's some that's some good stuff. That is Karen Waldrop. Uh, she's got a worldwide fan base over a million strong, growing every day. Her videos have been seen over four million times. So check that out. She's been featured in Rolling Stone magazine, People magazine, Netflix, The Hallmark, Bravo, uh, the NFL experience for the Super Bowl. So that's that's some good stuff. Uh, CMT. She's been everywhere. Uh, picked up some awards from uh, Nashville, and then she does on Wednesday. She does a Waldrop Wednesday, where she hosts a weekly online series on Country Country Rebels Facebook page every Wednesday at 5 p.m. So if you want to check that out. Uh, this new song is some good stuff. So you can check her out on every social media site out there and her website. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk to her. So how about that? Karen, what is going on? What are you up to today? Well, how's it going? I'm so thankful to be here with you guys. What an awesome day to get to hang out with you guys. I'm getting packed up, ready to head to Colorado next. Headed to Colorado. Where you, where'd you land at now? I'm in Nashville tonight. I'm about to have a rehearsal, and then we are going to head out tomorrow to sing for the Major League Baseball Association um, in south of Denver. So it'll be quite the climate change. We'll be going from Nashville to Denver, and uh, I was just practicing one of my songs called Colorado Kiss, getting ready to fly into Colorado. All right. So let's, let's dig down for those that don't know uh, a little bit about you and kind of where and when the uh, the idea that kind of came to you is like, hey, I'm pretty good at singing. I think I should do this. Kind of how'd that all come together? Yeah, you know, I always sang. And then just over time, I kept writing songs. And the more songs I wrote, the more hooked I got. And next thing you know, I just was touring full time. And as everybody knows, the ones that were touring full time, we were hit dramatically with the whole pandemic coming, you know, happening over the last year. So we're more, our entire attitude about being on stage is renewed because we just appreciate it in a way that, I mean, we always appreciated it, but now we definitely appreciate it in a whole new light. So we're just very thankful to be able to be back out and hug people and hang out with people and, you know, move forward. Now you've kind of played all over. Now you've played overseas as well. Yes, and in fact, we were supposed to be playing there this past July, so July 2021, but actually it got moved, and now we're going to be playing in July of 2022. Um, obviously, we needed to be safe, so it was too problematic for us to go in this year, but we're going to go back next year, and we hope to play a couple countries while we're over in Europe, but I just love people. You know, I think that's my favorite part about doing this. I love people. I love cultures. I love languages and differences and different places and traveling and i just love it it's such a thrill yeah and and what kind of response uh, we've been over to uh to england a few times over to ireland and you know whenever we go or I, you know we're over there and and i've got you know my my straw hat on and everything and it, it's kind of a different a different response from the folks so when you go over there and, and saying to those people what kind of response do you get you know from the people well, I think the thing is about music that's really great is that it's, you know, everybody speaks the same language when it comes to music because it's a feeling, it's an emotion. So I think it's pretty neat to get to go to travel to places like we went to Haiti in 2018. And obviously I'm, I have such a huge heart for Haiti. I love Haiti. I'm just completely heartbroken about what's going on over there right now. Um, but whenever you're playing music for people who don't speak the same language, there's a certain element of it that's just really special because you know that they're feeling the energy. And even if they don't know the the word or the lyric because they speak Creole or French or Spanish or whatever country you're in, it's just such a cool feeling to get to look out and know that you're connecting in the same way. It's not different. It's crazy. You would think it would be, but it's not. It's the same. And the, the inspiration that you get for the songs that you write because you are a songwriter, where do you get the, the inspiration to, to put those to paper? You know, for me, and I can only speak for myself, but for me, they just come from all kinds of different places. You know, it might be something that I heard someone else say. It might be something I felt when I was on the road. It might be something I'm experiencing. It's just all different things. And sometimes it's interesting because you literally have to just kind of stop what you're doing and grab it. You have to like grab the song because it, it kind of hits you like a ton of bricks. So sometimes you can't really like force it. You know, you just have to 
you just have to take the ideas you have and try to craft them into whatever it is. And then the interesting thing is, is that you never really know what's good. You know, I've had songs over the years that I thought was great and nobody ever responded. And then I've had songs that I thought were okay that people loved. So I just kind of let the people decide. And based on how the people respond, I decide whether or not I'm going to track it, whether or not I'm going to, you know, play it, whether or not I'm going to continue playing it with the band, all the above. Okay. All right. And you said you're fixed to head to, uh, to Colorado. What do you got going on there? Where, what are you headed to, uh, to play at? Yeah, so we're going to be playing. I'll be singing the National Anthem and playing a, a hour set at the Major League Baseball okay, Association. Okay, the baseball deal. Okay. Yeah, so okay. I'll be doing that. And then in September, we're hitting the road again. It's actually my birthday month. Uh -oh. So we'll be playing in Gulf Shores, Alabama, um, South Mississippi, and then on my actual birthday itself, we'll be in Memphis, Tennessee. So that'll be pretty neat, you know, to get to be on stage with a you know, birthday hat and get to have a birthday celebration, considering that, you know, last year everybody was very much not doing that. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to make the most of it and uh, and try to have a big party in, in Memphis. And then, and then throughout the rest of the year, we'll be playing, you know, we're all over. We'll be playing in Ohio, um, headed down to Mexico, and then we're going to be playing in uh, Florida in October. So... We still do have shows cancel. I'm not trying to say that we don't, but you know, just like we have since the beginning, we we believe in the show until it gets canceled, <laughs> and then we cancel it. So I mean, you just do the best you can and keep, try to keep a smile on your face. And you know, for any musicians that are listening, I feel you. I know exactly what you're going through. And the best thing to do is my friend Greg Warncall, who we lost tragically to COVID. He said during the year, he said, if you can't make a dollar, make a dime. And that was just such a cool thing for me to live. And I think it changed me forever. You know, I, I had to turn my music online. I had to play live for the people. I had to just kind of believe. And the fans were there. And I know for all the musicians that are listening and all the musicians that are out there, you know, we learned really for the first time how quickly the rug can be pulled from underneath us. And I think we have a whole new humble attitude about it. Yeah, it's a whole different, whole different scene out there this year. So, tell us about the the Waldrop Wednesdays. Yeah, Waldrop Wednesday is kind of like fishing. You know, I just put out a video every week on my Facebook and on YouTube, and from that video, I get new followers. And then once they follow me on whatever social media platform it is, it allows me to tell them when I'm in their town, tell them when I have a ticket link available. Tell them about a new song or video that's out. So it's, you know, it's almost like people discover me through Waldrop Wednesday. And then once they're in and once they follow me, then I'm able to share more things with them, more travel stories or Instagram stories or just anything at all. And so um, I started that in 2000. 18, I think, or maybe seven. I can't remember. It was a long time ago though. And so I've really just stuck true to it. And every week I put out a video, whether it's a video I shot years ago or whether it's a brand new one, whether it's us live with the band on stage, it just gives people kind of a weekly programming that they can count on, that they can grill out in their backyard and know that it's Waldrop Wednesday or pour a glass of wine and listen to a new song. It's just, it creates this whole, um, you know, kind of like scheduled programming in radio in a, in a way or on television. It just makes people have every Tuesday night at seven, they're watching The Bachelorette. Every Wednesday night at five, they're watching Waldrop Wednesday. So it's just been cool. It's been yeah. something the fans can count on and okay. something that keeps us all grounded and together. Yeah. Give you something to look forward to on the, for the next week. That's it. Well, Kara, I guess you're you're busy. I know you're getting packed and rehearsals and everything, getting ready to, to get on the road again. But uh, before we let you go, for the fans out there that are looking for your music, looking for your stuff, where's the best place to send them? I would say KarenWaldrop.com. You know, follow me at KarenWaldrop.com. That's a great place for me to be able to, you know, send them an email. They can hear all the music there, videos, press articles. So that's our hub, you know, KarenWaldrop.com. That's where our tour schedule is. That's where our, all of our information is. And we just have such a cool thing. You know, Waldrop Worldwide is more of a lifestyle brand than just a fan base. You know, we have a community, a really strong community. And I think that only got deeper through the pandemic. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, Karen, we appreciate uh, you taking time to visit with us. We know you're very busy, so uh, wish you good luck on the road, and uh, we'll keep uh, tuned in to your tunes. 
Thanks so much for playing Over the Ocean. I really appreciate it. You guys have an awesome night. Thank you.